Aimbot has been synonymous with cheating in the first-person shooter sphere ever since it went multiplayer. Players have been paying for a way to gain an unfair advantage in games for quite some time. Nowadays, it's not so uncommon to see players' crosshairs snapping from head to head, turning any match they join into a sour, unenjoyable mess. But how do these exploits actually work? To understand this, we must first understand the fundamental basics of how games work. Much like anything in computers, every little thing in a game can be expressed in numbers. Players' health, what weapon they're carrying, how much ammo they have, are all stored in forms of numbers or letters. In order for the aimbot to work properly, two values are very relevant to its function. The positions of the players and their view angles. For the position, most FPS games use a vector 3 to store it. Basically, it describes the object's coordinates in the world, or how far away the player is from the center of the map on the axes X, Y, and Z. The view angles are very similar and pretty self-explanatory. These are two numbers that describe the player's pitch and yaw angle, or how many degrees up or down or left to right they're facing. These two angles combined can describe any direction the player can look in and point their guns towards. Okay, back to the aimbot. These programs get hold of these values by some means, be it through methods like packet sniffing or simply plucking it out of the computer's memory, for example with a DMA attack. Then they take the enemy player model's position, get the position of their head, and then the position of where the shot will be fired from, which is most usually the vector 3 coordinates of the cheater's head. By subtracting the target's vector 3 coordinates from their own and then doing some 8th grade Pythagorean theorem maths, they get a virtual line spanning from the barrel of their gun directly into the player's head. Then, using some simple trigonometric functions, specific pitch and yaw angles of that line in relation to the world origin can be calculated. These angles are paramount, as they are the specific view angles that the cheater needs to have in order to look towards the enemy's head. The aimbot does exactly that. Using this method, it instantly adjusts or overrides the cheater's view angles in such a way that they perfectly face, for example, the nearest enemy on the map every time, and then automatically fires a shot. See? School does teach you something useful after all. While some cheat software blatantly and instantly makes the cheater's camera snap onto these desired angles, Silent Aimbot tries to do something slightly sneakier. These don't instantly lock onto a target, but wait until the cheater pulls the trigger themselves. It then snaps onto a target within a specific field of view for a single server tick before snapping back to its original position. This way, the cheat is slightly more difficult to spot from a spectator's perspective although far from impossible. Some cheat software have settings that makes the aimbot lerp, or linear interpolate the snapping motion so that it looks more smooth and natural, making it less obvious to a spectator while still providing the cheater with a massive advantage. What other types of aimbot have you spotted in games? Be sure to tell me in the comments below. And as always, this was Cold Brew, hope you enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this, and I'll see you guys next time. Ciao!